game. Welcome to the first episode of Movie Dish. I'm your host, Khaleesi Grimes 82. <laughs> I'm like, Oprah, check under your seats. No, I would never be the queen as much as I'd want to. On this show, we serve up a lot of fun, juicy movie gossip. I have a little treat while we're at it. <laughs> I think we've heard a treat. Today we're making blue balls in celebration of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I can't wait to roll some blue balls in my hands until Sonic releases into the theaters. It's going to be fun. And speaking of snacks, Adam Olinger is here from his hit channel, Adam Does Movies on YouTube. Come on out, Adam. Cup some balls with me. First off, thanks for being here, Adam. The crowd certainly seems to be pretending to know who you are. I think it's great. I love it. I think it's great. I love it. It is pronounced Adam, right? Not Edom. It's Adam. Cool beans. Have you seen the Sonic trailer yet? Y yes, I have. It looks like shit. It looks like it was drawn by a police sketch artist who had never seen the character before and based the appearance off the incoherent ramblings of an elderly mental patient. Does that about summarize it for you? <laughs> okay, all right. What the bloody stool fuck are you doing? Sega is sponsoring this video. Pretend to like it. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, to be fair, the director, the director did say he was gonna go back and fix the design based on the feedback of every single person on the planet. They care a little, I guess. Yes, they do. Yes, they do very much. I hope they don't change everything about Sonic's appearance though, because his legs are looking thick. T-H-I-C-C, kids say that, I think. I'm in touch, I'm, I'm young, I'm young, I'm youthful. I only hope they take this mentality with the rest of the production in general, because the whole thing seems like ill-conceived garbage from day one by some studio execs that shat this out during a power lunch. I mean, what the hell were they thinking with this movie concept? It has almost nothing to do with the source material, which was a video game for the Sega Genesis of a cultural icon from the fucking 90s who hasn't honestly had a good game made in like two decades. So this is like one final hurrah, I guess, one final cash out on the character, on the namesake. It's disgusting. It's pathetic. It's, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. We are having fun here! <laughs> Yes, we are. Yes, no, we are. We're not. fun. I'm not Dr. Robotnik, but I think I'd like to change gears now. <laughs> He's like a mechanic, evil scientist guy. Eh, why? I don't know. Since the theme is blue today, let's talk about Avatar and how the last Avengers movie, Endgame, could possibly very well dethrone it at the box office as the number one highest grossing movie of all time! I am super pumped for this for some reason! How excited are you for the potential of Endgame to be the number one highest grossing movie of all time? On a scale from zero to no fucks to give, I think I'm somewhere in the middle. We're talking about being excited about dethroning James King of the World Cameron his words. And here's the kicker, folks. Disney owns all of this now. So even if the Russos are on top with Endgame, who cares? Disney's laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, but James Cameron, I've, I've read, is a pretty arrogant dude. And he said some pretty nasty things about comic book movies, which we love, which are great. Sure, okay, so let's just dismiss all his achievements and everything he's brought to the table so we can prop up the visionary directors behind you, me, and Dupree. I'm glad you mentioned Disney, Autumn. Um, that's how you say your name, right? Autumn? It's just Adam. It couldn't be simpler. Yes, the name certainly does fit, doesn't it? Oh, wow, okay. I'm pleased as punch that this guy brought up Disney since we're sticking with the blue theme. Why? Because now I want to touch on the genie from Aladdin. And last I checked, he's blue. 
I hate that Disney is remaking all of its beloved classic films for money and nothing else. There is no other reason to remake these movies as live action. So I'm, I'm going to stop you for a second, Adam, because I think what you're saying and what I'm hearing are two totally different things. Right, audience? Right? Yeah. Because to me personally, how I feel is you're just kind of scared that these live action movies are going to be better than their original cartoon classics. That has almost never been the case, ever. I also think you're a tad bit offended that we're going to brush aside the corpse of the very much dead Robin Williams and replace him with Sir William Smith, who is very much still alive. What a terrible, hate-filled statement. I'd also like to say, if I could, STRONG FEMALE LEADS! What the hell was that? What was the point of any of that? It was completely out of context. They love when I say that. It's like a catchphrase for me. You should maybe try one on sometime, see how it fits. You may find that you like it. It's probably a little bit more comfortable than this lifeless husk of a man who's standing next to me currently. <laughs> I'm leaving. Wait, wait, wait! Where are you going? Where are you going? I can show you the world. Don't. Don't you dare. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go, or say we're only dreaming. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A dazzling place I never knew. Now but that I'm way up here, here it's, it's crystal, crystal clear, clear that now I'm in this whole new world with you a, a whole, whole new world a whole new world <laughs> so stupid shining shimmer and splendid Tell me, princess. Nerd alert! I'm super pumped to talk to you some more. So make sure to subscribe to The Cringe, which is at Adam Does Movies on YouTube. You can check out more of The Cringe if you like what I'm doing, and I think you do. Take care. It's like I'm leaving, but I'm not. <laughs>